Now to Murray County, where a widening investigation into the county's chief magistrate takes some bizarre twists tonight. That's right. Brian Cochran is accused of asking for sex in exchange for favorable rulings in his courtroom. Well, now the chief witness in the investigation believes the judge had her arrested out of retaliation. News Channel 9's John Pless is back from Chatsworth with today's developments. John. Well, Kim, the big question that remains unanswered, will Chief Magistrate Brian Cochran come back to work or resign under pressure? from a widening investigation. Voters just re-elected Brian Cochran as Murray County's chief magistrate. Now an attorney is making a bold request. And that this rogue judge either resign or prepare for a lot more coming to his doorstep. McCracken Poston represents Angela Garnley, who was to appear before Cochran as a victim in an assault case. It's a complicated situation that involves a divorce and other issues. Garnley says Cochran called her into his chambers, asking very personal questions about her sex life and marriage, then propositioned her to be his secret mistress two days a week. And he asked her if she would come back on Wednesday wearing a dress with no underwear on and that she would be really happy with the outcome of her case on Friday. Garmley reported the experience to the Georgia Judicial Qualification Commission, which is now investigating. Today, we learned Cochran hasn't been at work this week, and courthouse staff say they're not sure if he will come back. You don't think judges should be above the law? No, nobody is. They shouldn't be. I don't care if it reaches the president. They shouldn't be above the law. This investigation has opened up other concerns Poston says have been brewing against Cochran. As the JQC investigated, it apparently was determined that this judge had been pre-signing warrants. In other words, signing blank warrants for police officers to fill in. And just last night, deputies arrested the key witness, Angela Garmley, under what Poston calls suspicious circumstances. Three deputies pulled her car over because the high beam lights were on. Deputies say they found a magnetic metal container under the car with meth inside, and they arrested her. Magistrate Cochran's cousin, Mike Henderson, was the Sheriff's Department's supervisor last night. I would like for the Federal Bureau of Investigation to come up and investigate this. I spoke with Magistrate Cochran's attorney, Chris Townley, today, who says that he, will, he decided to take vacation this week while an investigation at the courthouse is going on to look into these matters. Townley says Magistrate Cochran is tonight deciding his future on the bench, and we may know what that will be tomorrow. Calvin? Okay, keep us posted, John.